Uh, just looking at that Naira, and as I mentioned, above that key 150 level, uh, we have spoken about the erosion of sentiment before that is ongoing in Nigeria at the moment. Do you think that we could see some more deterioration from the currency perspective? Uh, um, um, sorry, you what, could you just that? over the question again? All right, looking at the yeah. Naira, we're above 150, that key 150 level, sitting at around 151. Do you expect the Naira to deteriorate even further, or do you think we could see some gains going forward, purely because it is starting to uh, come through in terms of the clarity uh, for the Nigerian budget, of course, that has been a very contentious issue in Nigeria over the last while? Yeah. Hi, thanks, thanks. On the on the Naira beat, I would actually say that we've seen a, um, a bit of the heat that um, he, um, come off the Naira, the pressures on the Naira for the past two weeks has actually um, gradually started to ease. Um, we've expected the pressure to come in um, a while ago, um, maybe not Abbey to the level that we saw it um, heat, hitting a high of 152.50, but I think at this, at this level now we would, would think the Naira continue, it would continually get the breather for a while. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I'll take it. On the budget side, I think um, it's, look, looking at it generally, I think it's a good idea when you see the government actually responding to situations and um, economic factors as it occurs. I think um, it shows some um, form of um, um, stability of some form of um, clarity that they will always want to push you. But I think the best bit, the best, uh, best bet to, uh, on it would have been to have done the uh, appropriate planning, even from the word go. Um, reducing, uh, proposing a redu reduction in the oil prices is a decent move. Proposing a reduction in the um, production barrel per day is a, is a decent move. I mean, generally just adjusting, adjusting the budget figures and indices, I think it's actually in a move in the right direction to show some um, seriousness and clarity in actually implementing the figures that have been drawn. Do you think the move was done quick enough to uh, cut government spending? Because clearly we have been seeing a lot of pressure coming through and it seems that many were not very sure about the, where the revenues would, would come with the initial, initial budget proposal. Uh, also keeping in mind that there is a lot of talk that they are planning to cut spending uh, to 4.2 trillion naira, so well below the initial number. Um, well, timing, timing uh, might might have um, my uh, timing for it might really have been uh, relative to people actually saying what I was done um, in, in a good time enough or not. But I think the first thing that um, actually gives positive signals for me it's actually the fact that it was done at all, and um, um, there are certain factors that uh, push that uh, that review to be done that were not in place initially when those. Um, figures were cut. I mean, no one thought about oil tumbling to these levels. Everybody actually specifically thought oil was going to continue on the, the upward rise. I think it's been just been the general optimism about um, the growth rate and the um, growth increase in prices of commodities and energy would have actually driven driven those revenues and those uh, assumptions that came in. But um, like I said, the, the best thing is that it's, it's been done. I mean, people are beginning to see, um, take, take a look at the various indices, which we always uh, postulated from the, st the word go that uh, market will continue to watch those indices and see how, how the government and, uh, um, and the, um, the people in charge of the economy actually how they respond to it. I think they're actually doing a response, which is a, a step in the right direction. Mwabweze, thank you so much for your time today.